Hey everybody, uh, Dano here again. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on Cyril and instead of doing one long huge video, I'm, I'm just going to do several shorter ones so I can break this down a little bit easier because it would probably take me forever to uh, put all of this into one video. So uh, in order to make this, you know, maybe easier to search as well, if you're just needing one particular thing to know. Uh, I'm just going to break these down into smaller videos. Um, in today's video, I'm just going to go over downloading Cyril and also downloading Starnet and then also uh, creating a folder to work out of as your home directory in Cyril. You'll go to your browser first and we'll go type in Cyril. S-I-R-I-L. We'll just click on that. And the site is Cyril.org. And they have Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. I'm using a Windows laptop. And so I would just click on this and hit 64-bit or 32, whichever your computer is using. Uh, or you can also just come down here to um, Cyril 1.2.0. And that's going to have the latest version. And just click on whichever operating system you're using. And uh, just download it. And that'll be that. And then once you've downloaded that, let me just go back to my desktop here. This will be what the uh, application looks like um, right there. It's a little circle with the purple on the top and white on the bottom. And I've created a shortcut here um, on my toolbar. So I just use that most of the time. Now, step number two is going to be downloading Starnet. So I'll go back to the browser and we'll just type in Starnet. And I had recently searched for Starnet plus plus download. The site is starnetastro.com. You can just go to the official page or whichever. Now on this, we'll need a specific version to work inside of Cyril. They have a standalone version, which was the very first Starnet. I uh, used and then they have a, a command line version that you'll put inside of Cyril and it'll work inside the program. So we'll just go to download. Uh, it's going to be a zip file. So once you download that zip file, you'll just hit extract all and then you can save your folder uh, wherever you want to save it to. All right. Now that we've got Cyril downloaded, we've got Starnet downloaded, we're going to create a folder. And this is how I learned to do it um, when I first downloaded Cyril. And this is just how I've always done it. But so I usually just, um, I have this folder in here with the rest of my photos and I just name it Cyril, uh, capital S-I-R-I-L. And I use it so much, it just pops over here in my recents. Hey, all this stuff right here, no attention. What you want to do is, You'll create this folder and name it Cyril, and then you'll you'll create four folders inside of it. You're going to create one called Lights. You're going to create one called Flats. You're going to create one called Darks, and you're going to create one called Biases. And all of these are lower case. Um, now this this folder Masters and Process and all these images right here, they won't actually show up until you've actually stacked your images. Um, I, I've just been currently working on something and this is how it looks, but these are the four folders right here. These first four that you want to make. So it'll be, you know, lowercase lights, flats, darks, biases. And then once you've got that, we're going to set that as the home directory inside Cyril. So we've got Cyril downloaded. We've got Starnet downloaded. We've created our home directory folder named Cyril with the four folders, lights, darks, biases, and flats. I'm going to open up Cyril. You can, I'll just go ahead and do this now. So and the little home icon is how you set your working directory. And I already have mine set to this folder. But um, I would just, you know, if I wanted to come in here and set it, I would just go to uh, the hard drive that has it on there and look for Cyril. Because that's what I named mine. And... Let's see here, right there, Cyril, and I would hit open. 
and now it's going to say right here um, f slash Cyril and that's my working directory so and that's where I'll, I put my uh, my light frames and my calibration frames in so I'll open that up and it's going to show uh, so these are the four folders biases darks flats and lights and then uh, processing and master are going to pop up after you stack something and then when once you stack something your image will will look like this it'll say result let me just close this out before we get into stacking or any of that stuff i'm going to install starnet inside this program so what you'll do is you'll come up here to this hamburger menu in the top right corner the three lines right here and you'll click on that and you'll go to preferences and then you'll come down i was already on this earlier you'll come down to miscellaneous right here and then you'll come down to this section that says software location and it says uh, must point to a valid starnet executable now i had mine set up but i guess because i clicked on it earlier uh, while filming this i must have rem removed it or something so i'll go in here i'll click on this folder and then i'm going to go to uh it, i know it's in my c drive and it's in this this uh, folder right here astrophotography programs i'll click on that and then i'll click on starnet and now this is this is what the folder is going to look like starnet v2 cli underscore windows uh, double click on that i will come down to and in the type right here it'll say application and over here on the name it's going to say starnet plus plus so i'll click on that highlight that and then hit open and then now it's got the uh, .exe and that is the file and that's the path it needs and on this part right here I usually just put in my serial folder and so when I do run Starnet it will uh, output the results into the folder and it'll show Starless and Star Mask so once you have this set up like this I have that set to serial and then I'll hit apply and that's it now we're set up we've got um, Starnet installed we've got our working directory installed and then that's how you get this program set up and ready to run and uh, that's just my first installment on this like I said, I'm going to keep these nice and short and I'll come back and get into the workflow on the next one all right thanks for watching clear skies